Hello everybody. Hope everybody is well. Guys, today I'm making English scones for tea. So what I did now, I've already mixed my flowers, assorted flowers. I want to use healthy flour, bocas flour, wheat flour, a little bit of self resin flour and soya flour. Then I put in some salt and baking powder. I'm supposed to put sugar, but because I don't use sugar, I'm going to be using this maple syrup. So when I put in the egg, put the milk and the yogurt, then I'm going to put the maple syrup. So I'm dealing with the dry stuff first. If not, I should have put the sugar, salt, baking powder, and mix. Then mix my egg. The shell from this egg, I, when I bake, I always save the shell of my egg. I dry them. I blend them with my, with my blender. Then I use it for a lot of things to clean my bath, to clean my, my sink, to clean my everywhere, to clean my cooker. So this is the dry fruits I've uh, soaked with tea bag, you know, sultana and uh, cranberry. I soak it for like um, 25 minutes now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take away the water and the tea bag. I'm going to use just the fruit. So I just want the fruit to get that flavor of tea inside. So this is my milk. I'm going to use my fresh milk. You can use uh, uh, evaporated milk. If you can't get hold of fresh milk. Uh, this is the baking powder I use. And that is the butter I use. I'm not advertising for this flora. But this is the butter I use. If I want to use butter to eat my bread or cook my jello fries or do my steak or anything. This is the butter I use. I use this. This is the only butter I eat or Benico butter. If they don't sell, I buy them, but they're expensive. But this is the butter I eat because of my age. So I wouldn't be eating butter that would cost me my cholesterol to be high. So this is the yogurt. You can use uh, natural yogurt because I don't have natural yogurt at home. This is the one I have at free. So, but this one is just plain. It's plain yogurt. Anyway, light, molar light. It's just plain. There's no flavor thing inside. So I'm going to use this yogurt. Tip it in there, tip it in here, tip in the egg, tip in my milk, then tip in the, the dry uh, cambry and the sultana fruit and mix and knead, knead, knead. Sprinkle a little bit of flour, knead, knead, knead. This is what I'm going to be using to cut round, round and put in the baking pan and oil my baking pan. So it's very easy to do because I like baking. So baking is one of my passion, cooking is one of my passion. So all what I upload here on this video is what we eat at home. All what you see me cooking here on my YouTube, we eat them. It's the food we eat each day in the house. That is what I cook here on the YouTube and I upload them. So I cook them nicely because cooking is my passion. I love to cook. You know, once I come into my kitchen, I just want to cook. I'm very creative with anything even leftover food leftover rice leftover yam i chop it up fry it beaten eggs even leftover uh, spaghetti you know i don't chuck them away i beat egg inside my leftover spaghetti and fry it put tomatoes onions you know and eat it just like that bang it in the frying pan you know i don't waste anything leftover uh, roast potato on sunday uh, dinner or lunch the next day i roast it with the leftover beef or chicken make like a little curry quick curry and just eat so let me crack on guys thank you so much in fact i'm so happy for all my subscribers they are so nice people you know they are very polite people you know and uh, let me crack on with this my baking because after kneading and cutting i leave it in the baking pan then it's gonna take me you're gonna, I, I will allow it to rise for one hour before I bang it in the oven to bake. So when it is ready, my scones, I wish I can invite you guys to come and have a cup of tea here in my home with the scones and just sit down. These scones, when it is ready, you can use butter, you can use honey, you can use, I use a lot of peanut butter and cashew nut butter. That is my mainly butter. Occasionally, I use this, my proactive butter as well. So I'm using this butter. To mix in this. So you mix it like a breadcrumb first of all. When you mix like a breadcrumb. Look it's like a breadcrumb. Now there's salt. There's some baking powder in here. I didn't put sugar because I don't use sugar. When you put in your sugar. You 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 you, you, you mix all together. Then you mix in your egg. Put in your dry fruit. You've soaked with tea. Remove the water and the tea bag. And put the fruit in there. 
put in your milk, put in your yogurt, any kind of plain yogurt, natural plain yogurt. Then you need, 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 need. Then you begin to cut and uh, allow it. After cutting, set them on the tray and allow it to rise for one hour before you start baking. Very easy, guy. Very, very easy. This corn, we are eating it here with a cup of tea in the house. So everything I bake here, we consume them in the house here. So I make sure I cook good food, use good uh, ingredients to cook what we eat here at home because, you know, I'm no longer uh, young now. So I eat healthy, not to high my cholesterol or my sugar level you know so i'm very very conscious of what i eat you know when i go to supermarket we, we have different kinds of supermarkets here morris's tesco as i'm not advertising for them just calling few names i go for healthy thing low fat low sugar you know so guys thank you so much for my new friends i'm so happy with these friends i got my subscribers you know, I send them message. You want to, you want to be my friend? Straight away they respond. Some don't respond. Fine, no problem, guys. If I send you, you want to be my friend, you look at me. You don't like me. You don't want to be my friend. Fine, move on. I'm happy. So those that respond straight away, thank you so much. You know for uh, acknowledging my. Uh,